Hi, good afternoon. My name is Aisha. I'm with Habari Entertainment. Thank you for taking time to sit down with us today and discuss uh, the Bridget Pettis Foundation and the fundraiser that we're currently doing today. Um, can you give us a little bit of backstory and what all um, the camp entails to achieve for the, for the kids this week? Well, I think, um, first of all, I'm Penny Taylor. I played with Bridget and I played against Bridget and I actually um, played underneath Bridget as a she was my coach assistant coach um, with the Phoenix Mercury so I um, just can't say enough good things about Bridget and what she's doing um, she's always had great energy and I feel like now she's just got so focused on these amazing um, outlets for that energy and that real positive spirit that she has um, the way she's supporting the community in her garden initiatives and also her basketball knowledge that she's imparting on um, these kids. Um, it couldn't come from a better place. Someone with such pure intentions, um, someone who has the personality and the positivity um, and the vision to really help everyone that she comes in contact with. I've seen it in the basketball world um, and now I'm seeing it in these other ventures that she's just um, doing so many great things with. And what was one thing that you learned while playing under Bridget um, at having her as a coach? On the Phoenix, um, for me, I was really hard on myself and with Bridget, she's just always so positive. She's like next play, next um, effort. Uh, and so it was always turning the page and what you can do next and not dwelling on those negatives. And, and look what she's done in her next chapter of her life, life since retiring. Um, so she's very inspiring to me. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Penny, for taking time to sit down with us and Thank you. discuss the foundation and all that Bridget's doing for us in the community. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Aisha again. I'm with nice Habari you. Entertainment. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah. Awesome. So we're here today at uh, Lucy's mm -hmm. doing a fundraiser for the children in hopes of raising money for the basketball camp that Bridget is hosting mm -hmm. in South Phoenix. Um, what is uh, something that you think that is like the, going to be the best outcome mm -hmm. for, for the event that you look forward to? Well, I mean... First and, and foremost, you know, the passion that Bridget has for this is, it's really her passion project for her life's work um, to bring basketball, the thing that, you know, uh, brought her so much joy and to be able to give that to, you know, children on the basketball court and, and incorporating lifestyle, which, Definitely. you know, is, is the food and the earth. It's all the components that make Bridget so amazing and, uh, Definitely. you know, uh, you know, kicking this off, uh, I think her energy and her passion, her commitment to the kids um, is going to be the goal and it's going to be a beautiful thing. Definitely. And so do you think that um, the community garden and um, things like that would play a focus in professional athletes, mm -hmm. their diet and how they go about training yeah. and things like that when they're getting themselves ready for seasonal play or whether it's off court or on court? Well, I mean, Bridget's mission uh, resonates with, with Penny and I directly. Uh, we've been plant-based for eight years. Um, so when you talk about the soil and actually growing your own food, it speaks to us directly. And uh, that's why we've, you know, we've supported Bridget from, from day one, uh, really enjoying what she's doing and bringing education to the connection between people and food, which I think right. we've lost a little bit uh, for different reasons. Um, and... When you actually understand how food is grown and uh, how and it directly your body. directly yeah. impacts you, you know, health wise, um, it's a beautiful thing when when kids at an early age can get that information. Definitely, um, and to see them grow and nurture their their own interests in mm -hmm. growing maybe a garden of their their own one day or something like that. I mean, what a beautiful thing to be able to start something from scratch and and actually benefit from it, um, you know, and, and you can kind of. Uh, put that in any juncture uh, of life. So uh, she's really opening a lot of eyes, a lot of young eyes, which will influence them and impact their whole lives. Yeah, definitely. And I can't wait to see everything that Bridget does and how she inspires the, the youth of the next generation. Well, being uh, knowing Bridget now for, you know, over 20 years, um, I just remember watching her play when I was, you know, a little girl and watching her passion and how much she made sure that it was always a togetherness. And what she did, and uh, a night like tonight, and the camp, you will you'll be able to feel that when you're around Bridget. Definitely, and that is definitely felt throughout the uh, 
the evening here tonight. It's definitely a, a, a really great feel. Mm. The, the vibes are great. Everyone's, you know, positive and forward thinking and everything like that. So I really do um, hope that, you know, we are able to mm -hmm. raise all of the funds that Bridget is needing for all the kids in the camp. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Diana. I really do appreciate it. Hi, good evening, Cedric. My name is Aisha with Habari Entertainment. How are you doing this um, evening? Just great. Thank you, man. Awesome. Um, so we're here with Lucy's at uh, doing the Bridget Pettis Foundation fundraiser for the kids with yeah. the basketball camp. Why is this an important event for you to be a part of tonight? Well, first of all, me and Bridget are, are really good friends uh, from our day one of meeting for her coming to the Valley. It's just been a, a blast and, and, and an encouragement just to know her and a blessing just to know her. Uh, but anything that she's involved with uh, is always has character. It always has a lot of passion behind it uh, and, and enthusiasm, uh, which is the way she is. Uh, and then uh, most importantly is, uh, you know, giving back to the kids, the youth, uh, next generation. Um, you know, we both have been very blessed uh, with this wonderful game of basketball. And uh, for any opportunity that we have to try to employ that or, or en enrich, help, assist, uh, and again, we're not looking for the next Cedric Sabalos or the next Bridget Pettis. It's just an opportunity to extend. We know how much sports does for the, for the children. Definitely. And, um, you know, with your time on the court, mm -hmm. how did you balance giving back to the community with being on the court as well? I, that was day one. That, that was engraved with me through my mom. Uh, my mom was a neighborhood mother. Uh, so she checked on everybody. How's your grades? And why you haven't been in? And this, that, and the other. And so when I, you know, had the ultimate blessing of getting involved in the NBA, that was just an instant thing. Uh, and it's not always monetary. Uh, when with donations and stuff, it's always uh, your time. You know, uh, I I didn't get that experience to actually reach out and be able to touch a professional in in, in, a, in a game that I wanted to take it to the to the next level at but uh, you know sometimes when you you know you find yourself in places that inspire people and and motivate people and that was the biggest thing sometimes uh, like I said that that present is great but your presence is what really uh, puts everything in perspective and helps out so much definitely and hopefully that we're able to get all of the funds that Bridget is needing tonight mm -hmm. to help all of the children um, be able to take part in the camp Will you be making an appearance at a camp? Uh, if I'm here, definitely I will. If I'm invited, I definitely will. Uh, she's always been, um, you know, especially when it comes to teaching the game of basketball and, and, and that sport, uh, she's always been a great motivator and, and, and be able to, to reach, you know, the youth. She's even trained my kids. So, um, so anytime if she wants me or will have me, I definitely want to be there. Perfect. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with us, Cedric. I do welcome. highly appreciate your time. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Good evening, Bridget. Thank you for taking a moment to sit down with us here at Habari Entertainment. We do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to speak with us. Um, first off, I just wanted to, um, you know, say I've been watching and learning everything that I can about Bridget Pettis and the Project Roots Foundation as well as the Bridget Pettis Foundation both. So I just wanted to ask you, what was your inspiration behind starting both foundations? Um, I would say my inspiration had to be just, number one was my family. Um, just seeing the importance that my own bloodline know what, how important it is to, to change our diet, to eat healthy. Um, being an athlete, um, I was connected to it because I used my body as, as my tool and it, it needed to be in, in a good position. But how important it is to give that to all of us, you Definitely. know, to educate all of our community that we all need to use our vessel in, in the best way. And I just happen to be an athlete, um, watching my family deal with various, you know, illnesses that we don't have to, and just to educate I've always said it just depends who holding the mic, and today I got the mic. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> and I get to, you know, talk Definitely. about what's needed. And besides here in Phoenix where you have the local uh, Project Roots Garden, mm -hmm. do you plan to have the garden 
in any other cities other than Phoenix or as, as well as the Bridget Pettis Foundation? Yeah, everywhere. Um, everywhere. Every backyard, that's Project Roots, is to make sure we get food in our backyards, is to educate our community on making sure that we grow our own food. And, and yes, we plan on having incubator farms throughout the country and providing food for areas that are appear to be food deserts. We don't have to have that word in our vocabulary if we get up and start planting seeds. Definitely. Um, so obviously food scarcity is something that you're near and dear to by providing the garden and teaching our youth how to grow their own garden. What led you to just wanting to just be healthy and have that aspect was it before you got into the WNBA or was that something that you just always done as a part of your life well one I, I think that the garden I got led to the garden for my mental wellness okay you know I had stepped away from the bas from basketball since the age of six and that's all I knew myself to be at a time and you know God I, God put me in a garden and planting seeds out there. It, it helped me stabilize myself and who I really am more, um, get me back to my roots, to the things that are true to me and then true to what our community needs. And, you know, just kind of rid myself of the brainwashing that society had put in me and got back to becoming a whole woman. Awesome, awesome. And so before stepping down from assistant coach from the Chicago Sky, you co-founded Project Roots. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how did being a coach mm -hmm. and starting the garden, how did that, were there any difficulties doing that? Um, I wouldn't say too much. Uh, <laughs> one thing about a coach, uh, I didn't know where people should go, but I was telling them where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that shovel. <laughs> um. I, I think I came out there with the leadership to let's get, you know, with some concept of what we needed to do. And, you know, uh, having a, a leader to, to, to dig first, you know, I didn't care. I didn't care if I killed some plants. It's like basketball. I didn't care if I missed shots. I just kept shooting. Okay. So that's how I kind of took the process of learning how to grow. I mean, if we, if we do some things out, you know, we'll learn from it. And that's how we've been able to maintain a three-year community garden, half-acre garden that's filled with vegetables today. Um, I just kept shooting. I just kept planting. <laughs> that's wonderful. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when you started the Bridget Pettis Foundation mm -hmm. a little over a year later after doing Project Roots, what was the reasoning behind starting mm -hmm. the Bridget Pettis Foundation? Was it to bring more to the youth mm -hmm. um, for other activities for them to do other than the mm -hmm. garden? Yeah, um, I would say everything, but one of the main things was that I noticed when I had stepped away from the game, so many kids were just loved the game of basketball. And this just seemed like the perfect classroom to teach the game as well as beyond the game and implement all the things that I've learned at this stage in my life are important and just using the game as that. So uh, we founded this camp to put in basketball as well as yoga, a mindful practice, as well as bringing the kids, you know, healthy food and just implementing it all. I feel like if I could have experienced that as a player, I would, I would have a lot more balance in my life. And just to give this to the children today is what we really need. Most definitely. Thank you so much, Bridget, for sitting down with us and yeah. speaking with us. We do highly appreciate your time here, and we absolutely love everything that you're doing in the, in the community of Phoenix. We've been watching you for many years now mm -hmm. since you've started both projects. So I just really thank you for all that you're doing in the community as well mm -hmm. as what you're doing for all the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.